Well guys, this week I'm building this garden bench and I want to say thank you to Steve Ramsey for the idea and he actually made a video for this. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll have the link in the description. I just wanted to make one because I thought it was a really cool idea. So let's not waste any more time and dig in right away. But before we do that, I just want to say congrats to Adam Collins. He's another woodworker on YouTube. He has 3,200,000 subscribers. So I just want to say congrats. And if you guys haven't already, go check him out. I'll have links in the description for both Steve and Adam. Make sure you go check those guys out. They're great woodworkers. I'm going to start out by taking one 2x4 and cutting two 34 inch long pieces. two pieces at 24 inches. Now I need to cut six 13 inch pieces out of this 2x4. Nah, you just need four. Finally, I need to cut two pieces at 45 inches. So now I have all my 2x4s cut and we can start assembling this. So basically what I can do is take one 34 inch piece, one 24 inch piece, and two 13 inch pieces, place them on the inside middle and align them all. And this gap right here doesn't matter too much. It's basically where you want the seat height, but the armrest should be flush with this piece and this should be 24 inches up on this board. The best way to attach this is gonna be using these pocket hole screws. And for that, I'm gonna use my Craig pocket hole jig. So what I'm gonna wanna do is take these two 13 inch pieces and drill two pocket holes here and two here and do that for this piece as well. So what I just did was set my pocket hole jig to the right height and don't forget about adjusting the collar on your drill bit as well. Simply drop a clamp on here just to secure it down to the table. Drop my piece in, center it, and I can drill these two holes. And the other piece as well. was took my 34 inch piece, measured 24 inches up, put a line there, and what I can do now is set this piece perfectly along the line, take my face clamp, and pop it down, and then screw my pocket hole screws in. And these pocket hole screws are two and a half inch pocket hole screws that are the blue coat series, so that means that they're weather resistant, and that's probably a good idea to have so that your screws don't rust out. Now what I need to do is attach this center brace, so I'm going to measure 10 and a half inches down and 10 and a half inches down on this side as well. Alright, so now I have it in place, put my face clamp down and tighten it in. Process. So now I need to put two pocket holes in the end of 
each of these two by fours. So I'll have two here, two here, flip them upside down and put two on the other side. So basically what I have here is my 45 inch board and I'm taking the seat part of this and I'm going to screw it in so it's exactly the same height and then I'll put this on this side and I'll do the exact same thing. So now what I'm doing is putting these supports in here and they're set three and a quarter inches below so that my pieces will fit exactly in there and it will be flush on the surface. So I put one here, one in this corner, and I'll put one in the middle. So now what I'm going to do is take my one by threes and place them all in here, space them out a tad bit so they're all even, and tack them down with some brad nails and a little bit of glue. So now what I did was I drew a line on the angle and now I can line up my back pieces with which I drew pocket holes in and I can just screw it all the way in, all the way down. questions feel free to leave one in the comments and I'm going to put some deck stain on it but I want it to be the solid color and I haven't been able to find the right stuff at my hardware store yet so I'm gonna wait until I get the right stuff and I think it turned out nice thanks again to Steve Ramsey for the idea and I hope you guys like this video and if you did make sure you subscribe and like this video for more woodworking videos every Tuesday tune in here I'll see you guys next week and if you haven't already, make sure you go check out my second channel, Weekly Wood Talk, where I do follow-ups, kind of what's going on, stuff like that around the shop. So make sure you head over there. I'll have a link in the description for all this stuff. So have a great weekend, guys.